Today, I'm playing against every chess bot, but they can only make one move. We're gonna start off with a beginner bot, then we're gonna switch to an intermediate bot who's gonna play the second move, and so on until we get to a grandmaster bot. And then we're gonna start over until we get all the bots on chess.com. And if I lose, I will donate 20 gifted subs or about $100 to a small Twitch streamer streaming chess. And let me just tell you, boys, there's a rook sacrifice, there's a queen sacrifice, there's an insane endgame. So enjoy this game, and let's just jump into to the video all right boys so how is this gonna work well we go to the analysis tab and we click practice versus computer it's gonna bring us up against the maximum computer but we can click change bot here in the corner and basically this allows us to change bots every move we play and i think we're gonna start off with martin my goat my man let's see what he plays i'm gonna play d4 d5 pretty solid stuff martin but now we gotta go over to emir i think i will do this first beginner bot first intermediate then first advance and then we'll cycle them through because if i just play all the beginner bots first i'll just destroy them before we get to intermediate so let's go emir okay c4 queen's gambit oh queen's gambit declined my man knows some theory good job emir Okay, we get Antonio over here. Um, uh, just normal stuff. I mean, knight to c3 is pretty standard. He develops a knight, also pretty standard. This is just, like, typical stuff. I don't think any bots will blunder on move 4 or 5. I don't think even Nelson is that bad. But now we have to go to some master bots. Noam. Noam is next. Okay, e3 looks good. We can pin this knight. We can develop this knight. Let's go knight f3. Okay, he's ready to castle. I think e3 and I just develop my bishop and try to castle. I think that is what we want want to do but we have to change bots so we have to go back are we no we're going to grand masters now actually top players arena crush the goat i think i'll just play e3 why not okay she develops another knight that's perfectly fine and now we're back to beginners oh god <laughs> this is gonna be fun wayne welcome back buddy I, I just bishop e2 i don't think we're scared of anything that wayne's gonna do yeah let's just go here and we're gonna castle next move holy b5 what a man he wants to fight i mean it just blunders a pawn but we'll see how our next opponent handles this and that opponent is maxime intermediate bot i think we just we just take right i mean i don't see anything wrong with just taking this pawn yeah let's just let's just take we can castle on the next move okay the knight moves back good job maxime and now who do we play we play wendy i think we have a pretty good position boys we have a very advanced pawn okay we're bullying this knight we are up upon and we're gonna castle i think we're just doing great here let's just let's just be principled castle bro okay she castles as well that's pretty good oh now we have to go to the master bots nora is next okay now we're in a position where everything is kind of calm we're up a pawn but we have to come up with stuff we can put the knight into the center that's pretty good queen c2 seems like a move as well because maybe we get an attack in the future right we remove this knight something happens here i don't know we do have some options boys i think i think the move i said before queen c2 looks uh, this is what i would play in a game okay damn a6 nora she he is studying Magnus Carlsen's game, so maybe A6 is great. And I have to deal with it against the Grandmaster bot. God damn it. We have Anna Mudichuk. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, let's see what Anna has. A6 is on the board, so I have to either take or ignore this. I don't know what to do with A6. I feel like if I take just the rook takes, and then, you know, Anna has a free rook to roam around. I don't like that. I could also develop my other pieces. Rook to E1 seems like an option. Bishop to D2 seems like an option. Right, this pawn is not hanging. I can still take with the knight. That's completely fine. I think I want to play bishop to d2 i want to get every piece into the game bishop d2 let's go okay she takes i think we're just gonna take back but we first have to change the bot and we're back to the beginners fabian is next bro 250 rated my goats my goats the, the two 250s are the best so yeah i think we're just gonna take this pawn with the knight i guess i guess we could take with the bishop as well do which one do i want though i actually i actually don't know which one is better i'll take it with my bishop because at least the knight guards it that way okay look at fabian jumping into the center bro i don't think this is good for you bro but thankfully for him he doesn't have to play anymore because we're going to the intermediate bots who is next oh god we have Hans. oh no bro i'm actually just gonna lose so on the previous move fabian jumped the knight in now we're playing Hans, but i think this just blunders upon i can just take take and take right and, I, and i'm good and i can slide the bishop back and go for checkmate am i not just good here i'll take okay he takes back good job Hans. you're just gonna lose the pawn bro but now we gotta move on to pierre <laughs> okay pierre let's see i think just queen takes is i mean goaded here yeah i think queen takes and we're just gonna slide the bishop back we also hit the rook i just noticed okay he goes in with the queen he wants a queen trade also attacking my bishop so we don't have too many options we could go here i guess and take also i just remembered that we need to change the bot again i i was almost gonna play a move without changing the bot i guess we gotta change the bot let's go to a master bot we got ahmed 2200 let's go now i think we just i, I do, really do want to bring the bishop back i know we can 
take the queen. We're up to pawns. Both look good. I think I'll just do this. Okay, he really wants to force this queen trade, bro. <laughs> but thankfully, we'll go to the beginner bots. No, actually, we go to the grandmaster bots. Okay, who do we got? We got Hoi Fun, four-time world champion, the goat. I think I just take the queen, right? I don't need to overcomplicate things. Just take the queen, goddammit. Okay, we split the pawns at least. I think we're doing really, really well in this game. And uh, luckily for me, we're going back to the beginner bots again. <laughs> Who's next? We got Juan. Juan is always the weird looking bot. Look at look at his profile picture, bro. What is bro thinking about? Juan, you're gonna have to do some stuff, man. L what what can we do in this position? We can jump the knight and this looks like a great move for me. We can also go rook c1 and attack this weak pawn. That looks great for me. Everything just looks great. Wait, rook c1, he can take here. So maybe the other rook to c1. <laughs> but then I feel like this rook is gonna be trapped. I think I'll just play that here and attack the pawn. And of course, my boy Juan blunders a pawn because he's 400 rated. And to 400 pawns don't mean anything. But we gotta switch to my man Aziz, who has one of the creepiest smiles I've ever seen. I think we just take the pawn, yeah? We just take the pawn. We're up to re-pawn. Aziz, look at Aziz, bro. Wanting to attack. I might even want to sack the rook here, but I don't know about that one yet. Let's see what the advanced and master bots play, and then I'll think about sacrificing the rook. We have Pablo now. We're up to re-pawn, so if we take a piece... The material will be equal. I feel like I should just move my rook back, but <laughs> I want to see if, if I have some tricks or sacrifices here. I think I just go back. Maybe rook c1 as well. I don't think I'll go rook c2. This seems completely fine. Okay. Uh, Pablo wants a bishop trade down three pawns, bro. What are these? You want a bishop trade right now, bro. But I guess it's not even Pablo's problem. The master bots are going to have to deal with this one. And the next master bot is Sakura. S Sakura? 2200 again. Yeah, I think it's just GG for these bishops. Good having you, bro. But you're going to get traded off. And we're going to go to the grandmaster bots, bro. Judith Polgar wants the youngest grandmaster. Let's choose her. Let's see what she's going to play on the next move. We have a lot of options in this position, okay? We, we, we could go for some trades. We can double up. Well, maybe not now because we will blunder the A3 pawn. But maybe we can play a3 and double up i don't know about you guys a3 and here looks like a pretty good idea to me i think i'll play that a3 also just stops this bishop from being annoying ever oh no, no, I, I, I accidentally played a4 but i think a4 is fine <laughs> okay so she's going after this you ain't gonna do nothing there girl i'm sorry especially because i think we have to go to the beginner land now okay so we gotta play against philip I think what I will do is I will flip it now. I will go for the highest rated bots first in the category. So let's go against Kareem because we got to make this harder on us. Kareem 850, still not that great, but at least it's better than Philip. God damn it. So where were we? We accidentally pushed A4 before switching the bot. And now, um, I don't know, we can play A5 against the Bishop guards that. So we don't have to worry about pawns. I think we'll just, yeah, A5 seems logical. I'll do that. Okay, Kareem moves the rook over because, uh, yeah, the, the rook will do a lot more damage on the E file. That makes sense, Kareem. Good, good one, dude. Let's go with, uh, let's go with Nelson, maybe. Well, what about the goat? What about the actual clown master? Thirteen hundred. Rook c one looks good to me. Uh, just a, a first thought. I'm not finding anything better than rook to c one. Well, rook a to c one. So I'll just play that. Okay, Nelson moves the knight back in true clown fashion. Where the hell is this knight gonna go, bro? It's actually gonna go nowhere because here I would just take. <laughs> Typical Nelson. Let's move on to some stronger bots. Maybe we go with Lorenzo. Bro, look at this guy's mustache. This guy's a villain for sure. Okay, now we have a lot of options. I kind of want to just get as many trades going as possible. Rook c6 is not possible because of Nelson's brilliant move to put the knight on, the, on b8. So I think maybe rook c8. We kind of force a trade of rooks you know you don't really have a choice of trading rooks because you're kind of pinned to the king i'll play a rook to c8 let's see what lorenzo does he brings the king in closer which doesn't make sense considering my idea was to trade anyways that's the problem for another bot to handle let's see master bots what about Fran? bro this guy ripped off nelson's whole outfit well i guess i gotta play you i think i just want to take the rook though yeah i'll just snap this off the board bing bang now we can go check again unfortunately we cannot take the knight because the bishop defends it bishops do go backwards by the way I don't know. This rook check looks like a good move, but am I really doing anything with that? I don't think I am. 95 looks like a juicy move. If takes, I, I, I do double my pawns, but again, we get another piece off the board. Let's go 95 against Francis. Oh, he just snap takes my knights. <laughs> Well, I guess I know what I'm playing next move, but let's change bots anyways. Let's go with Hikaru, bro. Let's go with Hikaru. Let's give him a move. I'll just take this bishop and let's see what he does. Okay, brings in the knight. See, Hikaru likes to make stuff complicated. Wants to tag this, 
wants to attack this. Okay, now we actually got to think about this position. So we have a few options, boys. We can play B4, which just reinforces the pawns. The knight cannot take this because we would take, right? Defends everything. But then this pawn is going to hang, which I don't really like this pawn hanging as well. I guess we could play bishop to C3, defends both. But then I guess he will take. I take, rook takes. We're still up material there. We just get another piece off the board. So I just play the one that looks the most natural, which is bishop to C3, just defend everything. Knight to A7. Okay, I was not expecting that move, but now we gotta go to the beginner bot. <laughs> I don't think the beginner bots are gonna know what knight a7 does, because I sure don't. Let's pick Zara. She won our beginner bot tournament. She's the goat. Let's pick Zara, and let's see what she does with knight to a7. I have to come up with a move for myself. I mean, again, like f4 and b4 seems like good moves. I kind of uh, screwed myself over because now my rook is kind of closed in. I guess I could go after the loose pawns with this, but I feel like that's easy to defend. You know what? Let's go for an attack. Rook to d1, baby. Rook d1 rook d1 zara is just letting me have this i forgot it's a, i forgot it's a beginner bot <laughs> so i guess i am just having this let's go with my man win here because he loves to win and i think i just take the pawn bro it's a free juicer yeah let's take the juicer now we're up another pawn the knight comes back wanting to attack both juicers but again they're defended completely and this knight has really nowhere to go because my bishop holds both the squares right again i don't know what to do i guess we could go rook to d6 kind of give a light, nice little skewer if knight takes i'll just take the rook if rook takes i just take take and i'm good I, yeah rook d6 let's just go let's see what let's see what he has he pushes another pawn which those pawns are not going anywhere buddy maybe worry about other stuff what is an advanced bot that we never played i think miguel we never use miguel let's use miguel i kind of want to sack the rook i think we can sack the rook and actually win this game pretty easily now you know what just for you guys we're gonna sack the rook in this position let's go bro let's go take the rook i don't even care now we don't have anything other than a bishop and a king but we have to change bots i wonder what's Stockfish thinks of my sacrifice. Okay, next up, let's go with Arjun. Uh, it's not the Aragaisi kind, but it's just a regular Arjun. Since we only have a bishop and pawns, I think I need to start bringing in my king into the game and start helping the pawns because we're not gonna win this with only a bishop. So let's play king to f1. Arjun brings the king in as well. Pretty good stuff from Arjun. You know what? We had Arjun. Let's have Vichy as well. Let's choose Vichy. And let's see what we're gonna... I think I just king e2 it seems good. Yeah, we'll just go king e2. Bring in the king more. Oh, look at Vichy. I think we can just take that, right? No, I don't see a problem with just taking that. And let's go back to the beginner bots. Mina probably seems like a good option. I want to play at the higher rated beginner bots because let's be honest, we're completely winning here. If you can take a pawn, well, maybe not always take a pawn, but I'm going to take a damn pawn here. Yeah, snap it up, baby. Okay, she takes back. That's pretty good. For an intermediate bot, let's go with... Let's go with Elena. Why not? She, she can give us a good fight. And now we just have to... I guess we just run the king somewhere because we're not pushing a b4 just blunders the bishop so we're not doing b4 anymore i don't think we have a lot of options i think we just gotta go for it boys we just gotta run this king the king has to walk okay she brings her king in closer doesn't really do anything because you cannot take this pawn i think i want to go here and just cut this king completely off okay for an advanced bot let's go with charles look at that beautiful beard man okay let's click charles and i think we just go uh, e4 and let's see what he's gonna play <laughs> Did I really miss that he can just give me a track and I have to just go back? Well, I guess I know what I'm playing next move, but let's switch bots first. Let's go with Wei for an advanced bot, and I guess we're just gonna go back. Okay, boom. What? That's crazy, dude. What a move by Wei. I was not expecting that. That's great. If I take the rook, she takes, and I cannot stop promotion. That's crazy. You know, if I had, like, five brain cells less, I would probably fall for it. Very creative, though. I, I, li I really like this move. So let's just take here. Let's see what she plays. Okay, she swings the rook over. Still not really any danger for us. I guess we can start pushing this pawn. Let's go with Militza here. Let's, let, you know what? Let's choose the middle of a pack bot. And now, I mean, we can go and attack this rook. We can play B4. We can play A6. Maybe A6 is not that great because just this. I'll play B4. I don't... Um... B4, I don't know if I want to let her take. I'll play B4. Let's, you know what? Giga Chat, take it. I don't care. I'll just move my king. For an intermediate bot, let's go with Ali. I think he won our little intermediate bot tournament. Let's go with him. And now we just got to move the king. I think just going up seems pretty fine to me. I think we will do that. King C4. You can take another pawn. We don't really care because I feel like we can stop this pawn. We have two connected passers again. We don't need to worry about stuff. Let's just run it, boys. A6. Let's see what you got. Okay. 
takes the H pawn. We have to worry a little bit maybe about this H pawn, but let's pick an advanced bot over here. I might go with jo Jonas. Yo yo Jonas. I don't know how to say it, bro, but he's an old guy. He has a nice little smile. And let let's just continue pushing here, boys. Just run the pawns, bro. They're connected. You can't do anything to him. So he goes A2. This is good because if I play, you know, B6, he can just take this. Uh, so he's he slowed down the promotion a little bit. I still think I can play something like, I don't know, bishop to d4? I think I'll play bishop to d4. I don't see any better moves than that. Bishop d4. Okay. The pawn is slowly sliding down the board. Let's go with Sophia. We haven't used Sophia, I think, ever on the channel. Let's click choose. I'm thinking about it. A7. H3. <laughs> I have to play b6 then. Okay. And then h2. Thank God I took one second to calculate. I think Sophia would promote. So maybe b6 first. But b6, she takes. I push. You can't really stop promotion, right? You can't go... Ooh, wait. Yeah, here. If you take, I push. You can't go behind the pawn because I take. And you can't go up because the pawn holds the square. I think I just went with b6. I'm gonna play it. I think I calculated correctly here. B6. Okay, H3. Oh, now we have to worry about stopping the pawn, maybe. I don't know how we're gonna do that. Maybe we just promote our pawn, and we don't worry about that one. I guess we're gonna switch to a Grandmaster bot and then worry about that. Who should we pick? Maybe we pick uh, Fabiano. I think he's actually the highest rated Grandmaster bot. Let's pick Fabi, and let's see what we can do to win. B7, H2, Queens. Queens. Doesn't queen with check, and then we can maybe try to win the queen somehow. Yeah, we go B7, H2, yeah, Fabi knows it. And I think we just queen on the next move, but we have to change bots again. Oh god, okay, so we have to go to a beginner bot. I'm gonna pick Jan J. The thing is, beginner bots like to promote pawns to like bishops and st stupid stuff like that. So I hope that doesn't happen here because we're for sure making a queen. Yeah, let's let's make a queen ski. Okay, she made a queen. Oh my god, beginner bots are actually fixed. Now we just gotta find a way to swindle a win here. I'm immediately looking at some checks. So we have this check, we have this check, and we have this check. We have a lot of checks. Queen seed looks like the best one because where is the king going actually? You can't really come down anywhere because again the queen holds this pawns hold both squares I, I mean i don't really see anything wrong with these checks other than the king can escape and run away so let's go queen to c8 okay the king moves up but again we have to change bots so intermediate bots let's go with mateo he's technically the strongest one let's go with him and let's see what we can do. So what checks do we have again we don't we have we can push the pawn with check we can go check here we can go check here actually to trade the queens. I kind of like that because then the spawn is kind of pushing. Check takes here. Rook. Oh, Rook cannot come over because my bishop guard is B2. Hold on a minute. And the Rook. Oh, I like that. I'm just going to go with B7. Queen B7. Okay, takes and we're just going to change bots. Which advanced bot did we not pick? I think we didn't pick Isla. Is Isla. I don't know how you say it, but we'll choose her and we'll take this. Okay, check. We have to be really careful now where we go. I think b5 is good. I think king b5, you can take the bishop I make a queen. I'll go here. Stop any tracks. You can take the bishop. I don't care. I'm making... Oh, wait. Yeah, I just make a queen. What am I talking about, bro? Okay, track. King c6 looks great here. We've got to change bots again. You know what? We'll pick Daniel Naroditsky and we'll just finish the game against him. Then we can say we beat Daniel Naroditsky bot. Let's go king c6. Okay, he goes back. And now we just got to find a trackmate or a way to win the rook. I don't see a, an immediate way to win the rook. I think we just go track and we just keep tracking a bunch of times. So I'll go track. Okay, the king comes in. Can't really get a trade here, and we don't really have a follow-up track. Yeah, queen c8, stupid. Wait, hold on a diggity ding moment. Can I go track? Rook takes, pawn takes, king here, king here, and I make a new queen. I think I'm gonna go for it. I don't know if it's the absolute best, but let's go for it. Let's run it, boys. Let's run it, boys. Uh, make a new queen. Okay, go here. And now we just make a queen. Boom. Okay. I'm gonna fast forward me checkmating this king. Okay, boys, we absolutely destroyed everybody. It took us 71 moves, which probably means we played around 60 bots. What a crazy game. I really enjoyed this game. It was really fun. And if you want to see more crazy games like this, maybe watch the time I trade your stupid chess challenges. That video was absolutely insane. So watch that. And I'll see you boys in the next one. Bye.